Switched it up from the shorties, right? The steampunk and the uh, light series tarot deck. Okay, so how you doing? You doing good? That's cool. That's cool. That's all right. It's good to hear. All right. So let me just give these a little, ooh, a little shuffle. Well, I give a shout out to you for clicking this video, to my subscribers, and to the noobs. Yeah. So we're gonna shuffle this up and then shuffle the other deck up. And then we'll do it. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the Thelema deck, right? And we'll give you two cards in the beginning which represent your duality, your positive, negative, light, and dark side. And then I'll lay cards out to tell you a story. Within that story being a message. Okay, so stick to the end. Ooh. Stick to the end, so then you get your entire message, okay? So if you have Leo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, you also can watch this video. It's not just for cuspers, right? All right. Let's do it. Here's your first card out. You ready? Okay, good. The devil card. Boom. The devil. What a card to start off with. Well, this could be obsession, this could be manipulation, self-sabotage. Okay, we're gonna find out right now. And one thing new is these roles could be switched or the energies could be reversed, which means it could be somebody that you're dealing with or yourself. There it is. Queen of Cups. Somebody's manipulating somebody's emotions. Yar. Hmm. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, let's get more soda. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cut and dry. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this reading and find out what and who and why and all that. <clears throat> A star card. There's some healing going on here. Is it that in the in the event of you, well, the process of you healing, someone is manipulating your emotions, or are you manipulating your own emotions, right? Self-sabotaging energy now, okay? I don't know, let's keep getting into it. This is kind of odd. A little bit, a little bit odd. But we shall see. Three Cups, healing from third party energy. Yeah, Three Cups. Or it could be, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's third party interference. I really feel that your manip well, you, your emotions have been manipulated in the past. So you've been healing and now you're celebrating this, right? That's the Three of Cups celebration. Okay. So that's the one I'm really leaning on. So this is definitely, even though it's the present energy, this has happened to you. And it's either recently or you're just about to be healing from it in this process, right? And this is what you're excited about. Interesting. High Priestess. So it's like you know that you are... You know that the healing process won't 
I mean, it will have an ending, which means you'll finally get to be healed. Okay, and that's kind of what you're celebrating. You trust in your intuition. You know within yourself that you you will get to excel, celebrate once you kind of get to this healing process. Okay. Ooh. is the uh, achieving this emotional fulfillment right so you're replenishing your own emotions right you're definitely beating out this self-sabotaging energy this manipulating your emotions kind of energy i mean you could be doing this to yourself in manipulating your energy your uh, your energy obviously but your emotions it could be just it's like you're not letting yourself feel things okay and this is that manipulation on your own part no dog you're not going to be let out just wait <laughs> like every time I swear okay so let's get your next card page of wands okay well page of wands you could be This is more excitement, I feel. See, this is more excitement. Now you, you, you're like, you can't be stopped, right? You, you know the direction you want to go in and you can't be stopped. Which is, page of wands is looking straight at the Ten of Cups. So you can't be stopped now from feel, fulfilling your own emotions when you know that you've healed from your emotions being manipulated, okay? By who, I don't know. By what, I don't know. It's not really giving me those details. It's just kind of telling me the after effects. Okay, interesting. Um, oh, one card, please. Two of Pentacles. Okay, this is uh, a choice that you're definitely making to what? Not juggle your... Um, I'm going to heal no matter what attitude. Because that's kind of the where... Uh, how you're putting it on yourself like you know you must do this yeah that juggling's done right page of pentacles boom okay could be an offer of stability or not it's like more of like now you're, you're you're ready to present yourself because you've rebirthed yourself you've healed yourself from this and now you're ready to uh get out there and really show off um your emotional side like which means if you are a hermit and uh always staying inside well not anymore you know if you were one to hold back on how you felt about things not anymore and this is kind of what you're you know juggling to to do is to really show your new you right Because you put all this kind of stuff in the past, this is what you're ready to show that you can over, you know, maybe show other people that they can overcome these kind of barriers and blockages of self-sabotaging energy, manipulating your own emotions, which just basically means hiding them and, you know, not being true to yourself emotionally. Interesting. Judgment. That's the end of that. Oh, judgment being called. Ooh, and the judgment's right underneath the high priestess. That is pretty heavy. Ooh. Divine intervention with that, for sure. Helping you get it past these barriers, right? This, yeah, the judgment is that you're not going to be taking on too much anymore. Seven of Swords, taking on too much. Taking on too much. Now it's over, which means... Yes, maybe you felt overwhelmed with being excited around people that weren't. 
so you held back and that's kind of that self-sabotaging energy not letting yourself be authentic in who you are and how you feel kind of curtailing it to others okay yeah all right uh, let's round the corner here and get to the uh, last couple cards of your story and then we'll get to your outcome so hit that like button and subscribe if you have not done already I appreciate that one card please thank you forgive yourself forgive yourself and move on okay we all we all learn lessons in life that's kind of why we're here Okay. learn specific reasons for specific lessons for specific uh, what you wanted to sign up for <laughs> you know what I mean uh, before you got here that's kind of how it works all right uh, eight of cups hit the deck okay that's too easy it's not too bad with that eight of cups it's definitely um, feeling that you kind of feel sorry that you got to walk away from people, places, and things that don't emotionally serve you. Maybe those people in the past that weren't so, you know, uh, expressive in their emotions in turn made you not expressive in your emotions so holding you back because they were held back in their own self which that wasn't going to last long obviously and so you, you kind of feel bad that you got to, you know, leave those people because that energy, that kind of mentality is just going to keep rubbing off on you and you might fall back to square one. Okay. So, with that being said, here's your first card, your verdict. Cutting it off. See, boom, Queen of Swords. You know that you're trusting your intuition is cutting off this devilish energy, which could be some of these people influencing you indirectly to withhold your own emotions back from not only yourself, but other people. So, you just cut that out. Cut out people, places, and things, and you feel a little bad about it. Okay, well, sometimes things are necessary, okay? Okay, final verdict, outcome, Bachelor Rose, here it comes. That was supposed to happen, the world card. Oh, it's the moon. Ah, crazy. <laughs> okay, so the, the moon card. There it is. Yeah, so you're going to do this in the dark. So it's like you're going to go ghost mode on people. Yeah, you're going to go ghost mode on people, cutting them out of your life secretly, quietly, without this big old bang up of, um, you know, a grand entrance. I mean, a grand finale, you know, that kind of thing. So um, good lesson, right? Good lesson about some self-worth here, right? Understanding your own emotions that be true to yourself and authentic because holding them back from yourself just because other people aren't in that same level I mean, it just ruins a whole lot of things so there it is my friends that has been the reading check out my playlists binge them if you wish enjoy that that has been your reading um, tell all your friends and your neighbors about my channel Hit up the like button and subscribe. Become part of this divine family. And enjoy the rest of your week. And weekend coming up. Be safe. Be brave. Be blessed. And move out, my friends. I will definitely see you again. Peace out. Have a good day.